Do you want to experience maximum success when it comes to trout trolling? If you do, integrate trolling flies into your arsenal. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and pick up one of Cal Kellogg's signature series trolling fly kits today and you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Right to me. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Right there. Sweet. An nice. Fish eye and one of our pink and white tokeny tubes right there. Look at that. Shabam. Folks often wonder why you have a double hook rig on a, on a kokanee lure a lot of times. This is a double hook rig. Kokanee have a soft mouth, so he got on the other hook. He, this one's actually hooked really well. But he got hooked inside the mouth with the first hook. And you can see this hook here came back around and hooked him again. It doubles your chances of landing the fish. And that's why we like to run the double hook rig. You can certainly run a single hook, but two hooks, it doubles your chances of landing the fish because often they'll get hooked on that back hook and it'll do just what you saw there. That second hook will come around and get them in a tougher part of the mouth. And uh, it's a fish in the frying pan right there. So. Hey guys, Cal Kellogg here. I just want to follow up on that tip that I talked about up at Bullard's Bar Reservoir, you know, in reference to double hooks on kokanee lures. Um, let me show you a few kokanee lures. Here's some Uncle Larry spinners. This is one of the very best kokanee lures on the market, in my opinion. Um, and as you can see, they're all rigged up with double red octopus hooks. That's simply because kokanee, they have a soft mouth. Often they're going to come in, they're going to nip at that back hook, they're going to get lightly hooked, and they're going to immediately go crazy when they're still attached to the downrigger clip. You're likely going to be fishing off a downrigger if you're kokanee fishing, and they are going to get that second hook somewhere in the side of their face, in their gill plate. It's going to purchase somewhere in their face where the, the fish is much tougher, and you know thereby you have a much better chance of landing the fish. Now, you don't have to use... A double hook rig to land kokanee. Here's some spinners from Max Lure. As you can see, they have the uh, the glow hooks on them, but they just have a single hook. Um, you can land plenty of kokanee on those, but you know you're going to land more on a double hook rig. Now, I don't use double hooks a lot when I'm trout fishing. Primarily, I use them when I'm dealing with soft mouth fish. I use them for kings and I use them for kokanee. Here's a rig I was trolling yesterday out at Folsom Lake, one of my six inch fisheye pros in the watermelon color. Um, that really doesn't matter since I got skunked, but I was running, one of the things I was running was a double hook rig just like that with one of my cured um, herring fillets on it. And the thought process is the same. That king is gonna come in, he's gonna nip at the tail of that, of that herring, of the herring fillet, and he's gonna actually get hooked on this rear hook right here, and he's gonna get hooked somewhere right in the front of his mouth. He's gonna start fighting, he's gonna start head shaking, and I want that second hook to end up somewhere, you know, in the side of his mouth, on his gill plate, whatever. And if he comes in, Big King comes in and inhales that filet, well, I got two hooks inside the mouth and you can't go wrong with that. Bottom line is, if you're fishing for fish with a soft mouth, fish that fight really hard and you think there's a good chance they're gonna pull off the hook, if you use a double hook rig, you're way ahead of the game, you're gonna land more fish than you will on a single hook, and uh, when you're king fishing, you can also play with an octopus hook and a treble or even two trebles. Anyway, that's it for now. That's just a quick tip on double hooks. I'm Kel Kellogg, I'm signing off. If you're looking for gear, you know where to go fishhuntshoot.com. Please subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks a lot.